you're an isopod enthusiast, you've most likely have heard of Rapashi Morningwood. A lot of people feed it to their isopods since isopods can go crazy for this since it's full of tons of nutrients. So Rapashi Morningwood and other things like Rapashi Bug Burger are really easy to make. All you need is a mold or some type of container to mix it in. And then you just need the powder and then some warm or really hot water. To make this right here, we have some water that I boiled in the microwave for one minute. And then we are gonna mix this in here and stir it around. <laughs> So now after a little bit of mixing and kind of just flattening it down, it is now a gelatin and is a little squishy as you can see. And we're now going to feed it to mysopods for their very first time. Here we have my Cubaris SP Panikings in this little enclosure. And we are now going to be feeding them their Rapashi morning wood. So let's see how they like it. Right here we have a piece of dog food from their last feeding. And as you can see, there is quite a lot of man cave running around. Since these guys are a little bit of a more finicky species, we'll just be scraping out a little chunk right here. And then just placing it in there. And then I will come check back in a little bit to see if they've touched it or not. So a little bit of time has passed yet and while checking, no isopods have yet gone towards it and started eating. So I'm going to leave it in there overnight and check on them tomorrow and see how much they've eaten. Everyone, it has now been a day later and we are now going to check on my Cubaris SP Panda King to see how much of the Rapashi morning one they've eaten. So as you can see, there is a dot right there eating. And again, there is so much man K here. And it looks like they ate a, a really large amount of it. Yesterday, it was like a little bit of a square or circle and now it's definitely you can tell that it's been chewed down on so you can see there's still a few man k running around it there's a lot of man k well in conclusion i think the painter kings enjoyed this meal very well even though i could not get it on camera this is to show what the ingredients list looks like it is full of tons of different nutrient rich items and lots of other stuff now when it comes to feeding these guys i don't think that you have to feed them morning wood all the time this stuff is just a supplemental thing to give them along their normal rotting wood and leaf litter when i normally supplemental feed them i give them fish flakes zucchini and a little bit of carrot every time Which, by the way if you don't know their leaf litter and their rotting wood should be their main diet but besides that if you're looking for a good supplemental food for isopods i definitely recommend morning wood Thank you.